When we heard about the program in health promotion, we thought this was a really good program for the local health district. We spoke to the CE to get her backing, her support, and she then proceeded to set up a steering committee of most of the executive to get them all involved from behind the program. As a result of that, we then set up a working group at Nepean Hospital and one at Katoomba Hospital to look at the local implementation of the program. We pile in all of our ideas, see if we can develop some strategies to implement what our colleagues would want from us uh, and from there sort of divide and conquer. It's been really great to see how many staff have taken up the opportunity, so we've had over 10% of the workforce who've had a brief health check. We had stalls in hospital foyers, we had emails going out to staff, we had newspaper articles. After we received the assessment from the brief health checks, which indicated there was a real issue of not eating enough vegetables and fruit, the other thing of course was healthy weight. So the data has certainly been helpful and has given us a, a, a snapshot look. So it's giving them some real information to start thinking about their lifestyle, but also for us to think about how we can engage in things to support that. Uh, we've developed healthier lunches to implement within the staff cafeteria. So we have got a uh, healthy lunch packs, so sandwich packs with multi-grain bread, a salad and some meat. Part of the package comes with a piece of fruit or yogurt and a bottle of water. So that's been such a success that we've continued that on past the promotion week that we had. A lot of people within the organisation are doing their own walking meetings, lunchtime walks. There's a group that run up the, stair the um, staircase at the multi-storey car park every lunchtime. Uh, the 12-week challenge we started for Allied Health at Nepean Hospital and it's a program that takes into consideration all aspects of your health. So it included not just physical exercise but drinking water, the required amount of water, not drinking alcohol two, two days a week, sleeping eight hours a day, 10,000 steps, lots of little activities that um, are all promoting the health of the staff. All the staff members could set their own goals and then you got rewarded for meeting the targets for, for that week. So each day you'd mark off if you did your 10,000 steps or if you did your fruit and veg for the day. I spoke to one of the physios this morning and she said it was the first time in 20 years that she's exercised and the program was what motivated her to um, get started. So she's actually running now, which is really good. As good employers, we've got a responsibility to look after our people as well. So as we train people to um, develop task-related skills or support people to become um, better leaders and managers of the future, to me it's equally important that we support people to be healthy so that they can give of their best when they're at work and as people they are healthier and enjoying better lifestyles all the time. So it's a continuous circle with one informing the other and improving the other and I think it's wonderful.